Hello everyone. I made this video about clearing the 50 foot obstacle, not only for the takeoff, but also landing with obstacles. I hope you enjoy. This is Marble Earth Street in Idaho. High density altitude is short and has obstacles. In this case, I found a gap between the big trees and the hill, so I use it in my favor. Clearing the 50 foot obstacle is about performance of the airplane, very important, but also technique. This is Bandera Air Strip in Washington State, in the Cascade Mountains. We have tall trees on both ends, but it's a pretty long and very wide air strip. Good place to practice. You just heard the empty propeller when I reduce power. Here I'm at idle, and what I do is I pull on the yoke, so I start descending without gaining much speed. At the end, I add some power to arrest the sink rate. You can see even with a 50 foot obstacle, we didn't use much room for landing. Here we're in Stehiken flying the Cessna 182, also in Washington State, in the Cascade Mountains. After checking the obstacles, we proceed to our landing. And I look for a gap in the trees so I don't have to go straight over the big trees. Even I'm doing a dog leg approach, I think it's easier than coming over the biggest trees. Winds are calm and we decided to land 3-1. This is Perfect Airstrip, also in Washington State. Very, very tall trees. I do sleep. You can do sleeps in the Cessna 182 with full flaps. The 170 sleeps are not allowed with full flaps. It will block the elevator and you will lose lots of altitude. This next one is Lake Wenatchee Airport in Washington State. Also very long, very wide, tall trees. Good for practice. I just sleep in the 182 and try to use the minimum amount of landing distance. Important, read your POH, distances, density altitude, settings for the airplane for the 50 foot obstacle. The reason I like to stay in ground effect in this kind of air trips, first there is plenty of room, also I can gain a lot more speed, once I cross the trees I have a lot more authority. So to clear the 50 foot obstacle for the takeoff is uh, much more about the performance of the airplane than the technique, the technique is also important use the recommended POH setting for the flaps for the takeoff and learn to do a VX climb short takeoff if needed. For the landing is about knowing your plane, coming slow using full flaps and do not point the nose down so you will get lots of speed. Control the speed with the elevator, the pitch and control the altitude with throttle. Let's 
see this landing from the pilot's perspective you will see the movements I do with a yoke controlling the speed of the airplane and I'm using the throttle to control the altitude so I reduce a bit of throttle to lose altitude I pull on the yoke to reduce speed or push to gain speed You can hear the stall warning, but I have an angle of attack indicator that is very accurate and will let me know how much lift I got with a visual system with hood. At the end you see I added some power to reduce sink rate and try to make a smooth landing. As you can see we didn't use much distance for the landing and there is plenty of distance left. Now let's see a takeoff in the Cessna 170B. This airplane has a modification of 180 horsepower, personal stall kit and bridges. And three propeller which is very light and also help with acceleration. some ground effect when I have the distance and it's possible I do it because it's free energy I will get me more speed to cross the trees if the airstrip is short and you have a 50 foot obstacle you lose a lot of ground so I try to come in as slow as possible and then add some power just before touchdown to arrest the sink rate. When adding power, just you have to add enough power, not too much because you will float and it will make a lot of problems. Also it's good to know in advance how are the conditions because if the grass is wet, the braking power is reduced a lot. This Cessna 182 has the Sportsman Stall Kit and VGs. With the Sportsman Stall Kit I start my roll at 20 degrees of flaps and I add 10 more for 30 is the best lift and as soon as I am airborne I reduce again to 20 is the best climb. The angle of attack indicator is very helpful for VX climb out. So where do we start with clearing the 50 foot obstacle? I will say start with a POH, it will give you reference numbers, but also know your plane because sometimes there is modifications that will improve it, or maybe your plane is old and doesn't have enough power, so it doesn't perform as new. Also very important, make sure you can take off from a place you just landed. Some airplanes can land shorter than the distance required to take off. In the case of the 182, it used to be the same with the stock 0470 Continental engine, but when I upgraded to a Pippon with 280 horsepower, now we take off shorter distance than the distance required for the landing. Of course, this is something you need to practice before going to a, an airstrip that is short with obstacles. Also if the airstrip is short with obstacles like this one, this is Sirena Station in Costa Rica, Corcovado National Park, the strip is short and very rough so I try to come slow over the trees, the angle of attack indicator is very helpful and try to hit the spot for landing, no floating this particular strip that go around is very easy because you just go towards the ocean but the strip is short and rough so that will not be so easy in that way not much room this is a Skycomish airstrip in Washington state 
also in the Cascade Mountains. It's long and very wide, good place to practice. Here my friend is landing his 182. This airplane has the same modification as my airplane. Pipunk, engine upgrade, stall, it is Sportman stall with VGs. Great performer. This next one is in Costa Rica and you can see a live object on the trip. This trip is Chiroles in Costa Rica. It has tall trees. But as you can see there is a live object obstacle. And I have to go over that one as well. I decided to continue the landing because there was still plenty of distance left for the landing. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to support my country 182 please join me on Patreon. See you next time.